car just on his way up to Lakes, um, up to Keswick to do the um, Abraham's Tea Round. We are doing a slightly longer version of it in the hope of um, seeing Dougie on his uh, on the finish of his wave rights. So we advantage is we um, pick up an extra three wave rights as well. So that's. Uh, good in the uh, new quest to slowly take them all off um, so yeah so we're here with Mikey say hello Mikey <laughs> um, yeah it's gonna be a really wet day today but that'll at least keep the temperatures nice and cool so the forecast for tomorrow is uh, gonna be absolutely red hot and I just think with the distance that we're doing and uh, the limited uh, availability of water and stuff on the course route. Um, but yeah, we would rather do it today. Um, and then we're not as pressured into uh, finishing uh, before the cafe shuts um, to get us a badge and a cup of tea or whatever you get afterwards. A t shirt, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, so really looking forward to it. Legs are a little bit battered from the amount of climbing that I've done this week, supporting Dougie and uh, various races and uh, yeah, a couple of double run days as well. So, but once we get moving, we should be all right. So, see you in a bit. So here we are. It's the doors of George Fisher about to start as. Uh, alternative tea round um, so yeah hopefully we'll get to see Dougie on on route somewhere um, yeah, he's struggled a little bit last night um, he's just tired he's not really surprising he's done 209 of the way right so yeah I'll see you all in a bit right and we're off All right. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh yeah. Just it touched out the side. So we just got top of Catwell, summit number one. And uh, it's red up, feels are glorious. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Oh, yeah.
is technically 14. This is summit number four. Uh, only time left to go. This is day led. Summit number five, Robinson. Now I've got to descend down to bottom here and then climb up. What's that one, Mikey? High style? Uh, high style. Yeah, I think it's high style. But yeah, it's a uh, long way down to bottom here first. Yeah, so that's bottom here down there, and then that's high style there. Um, so drop to the edge of bottom here, and then so you cross the waterfall, and then climb straight up. Legs work tomorrow for Parkman. No, I have. This is the summit of High Star. Uh, that's definitely the hardest climb I've ever done. Yeah, glad it's done. And this is the summit of Red Pike. We've now got to descend from here down to bottom here and then do the last bit of climb of the day up Whiteless Pike. This has been the most treacherous descent I've ever done. Uh, it's just awful. I've fallen six, seven times. Um, it's just so greasy with all these rocks that they've put down. And it's wet and yeah, it's just, it's been really shit. Just a yeah, really shitty descent. And uh, I just, yeah, can't be asked anymore. But let's see how I feel when we get to the bottom. But yeah, properly. Just yeah, fucked off. It's just been an hard last couple of hours since we climbed up um, from bottom here. Um, yeah. Yep, but never said it was going to be easy. So yeah, time to crack on. Well, we're still going. Uh, on the long old climb up to Whiteless Pike. Um, yeah, my back's a bit sore from when I fell. Um, sort of banged the bottom of my back, just underneath where my back sits. Um, so yeah, so that's a little bit uncomfortable, but still going we've got about 21k to go um still got another seven tops i think but i think from whiteless pike we pick off quite a few without losing and gaining much height along the ridge line um now we've got like a, a couple of out and backs um 
So yeah, we'll get there. It's going to be a slow one, but we'll get there. Uh, finally made it to the top of Whiteless Pike. Uh, such a long climb. Not too technical, but it just went on forever. Um, as you can see down there, uh, where we come from at the bottom here. Um, yeah. But, still in viewers again. So this is Hobcart and Crags. This is Grisdale Pike. We've now got to go back the same way we came. So down there's Keswick. So we've just got four peaks left to do. That's what's going up next, heel crag. Straight up the face. That's where I just came up, like rock climbing. Diversion though, if you look up where we went. Yeah, going up that extra going, one. Yeah. That's uh, Eel Crag, onto the uh, home stretch now. Wind picked up again. So, we're just on the climb up to sail. Uh, I'm glad to say that my uh, mood has improved considerably. Uh, yeah, I just really did not enjoy that uh, treacherous descent off of Red Pike. It was awful. Uh, yeah, just there was no safe way of coming down it with how wet it was. Uh, walking, running, whatever, it was just, feet were sliding from under me. I fell lots. Uh, in the woods at the bottom, near the bottom, uh, where it was all even greasier. Um, and then, yeah, I banged the bottom of my back, uh, which then were causing some considerable discomfort climbing up Whiteless Pike. Um, took some paracetamol at the top of Wireless Pike which helped a bit uh, so yeah so we're getting to the back end of it now and um, uh, yeah finally we can see Keswick and it's got a few more peaks to do so yeah so no it's all like I say I'm just Glad that I came out of that because it was a dark place, but I'm sure that'll help me mentally going forward with my overall chis and stuff. Because, yeah, uh, coming down Red Square, Red Pike, I was just ready to jack. So, yeah, so, no, really pleased. So, I just sit there, top of sail. And now I've got Causey Pike, Merlin End, and Barra. See you soon. Just for well then. So this is Causey Pike, just two more summits left. We've got Rowland End and Barra 
and then the final run into Keswick. So about 10k left. Um, but yeah, certainly crack the back of it now. I hope not one for well, it? <laughs> Just look at that for stunning views. Really makes all today's hard work worthwhile when you see sights like that. It's just unreal. So this is the second to last climb done. Uh, rally end, just barrel left, and then run back into Keswick. So that's the. Final summit done, Barra. Now I just got to descend off here and run back into Keswick. Hopefully in time to get something to eat before everything shuts. <laughs> See y'all at finish. So that's the uh, extended T round done. Um, 51.2 kilometers with 3,644 meters of elevation in 12 hours and six minutes. So I think we did 17 way rights today. Um, you only need to hit 10 to do the T round. So we, we did all of them, but we picked off some of the ones that weren't too far off the route um, and we did um, we went backwards on what the the route that Dougie were finishing his uh, Wainwrights challenge um, in the hope that we'd see him but unfortunately uh, his schedule sort of slipped a little bit overnight and we were running quite well at that point so we missed him on top of Robin to move about half an hour um, so yeah, no, it was a really good day out, it was, it was tough, um, like I say, um, conditions uh, coming off Red Pike were, yeah, the, the worst I've yeah, ever known, um, and just made for the really um, slow and uh, treacherous descent, um, I think for the 2k descent from uh, Red Pike town to Buttermere. Um it was something like 42, 43 minutes, um, averaging at 20 minutes kilometres. That shows you how slow 
it was. Um, you just couldn't even walk fast. Uh, but yeah, so now that I've done, um, I'd definitely like to do it again um, and just actually do the, the, the tea round itself. Um, just to sort of see what kind of time I could do it in um, now that I know what to expect and you know I've got a few things that I need to um, work on before then like you know fast climbing I, I know I keep saying it but it's not something that I can practice all that much at home because so much of the hills are runnable um, I probably need to go out into Dales or up into Lakes to do that um, and just, just sort of make a conscious effort to, to walk a bit quicker and um, I mean some of the, the, the climbs that we've done today are just sort of technical that you scramble in anyway so I mean the climb up to Eel Crag it was it were more rock climbing than, uh, than walking but yeah really good day so I'll see you all soon. Bye.